Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know my ears look really weird right now. They look like James Charles, kind of like this. I'm not shading, I love James. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, people. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I put a question thing on Instagram so people could um, ask me or say anything while I'm doing a get ready with me. I think I'm going to this birthday party. Um, one of my mom's friend's daughter and my mom was like would you want to go and I was like "Ooh, sure a little vlog but then I'm not doing anything today besides a get ready with me so I'm like maybe I should just do a get ready with me so we're gonna look at some questions let's just get started with the get ready with me because oh before we get right into this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and yeah if you want to know how I transform myself into like a cat fit no, I'm just kidding if you want to know what I look like when I'm done with my makeup, then please keep watching. Maybe I don't understand it. So, I'm trying to do things different in my makeup routine because I wanted to change things up a bit. Uh, yesterday, I went to sleep with my makeup on. It wasn't like a lot of makeup, but it was just like powder and my eyebrows and... I'm still not to oh Jesus Christ that scared me. I'm still not gonna take that risk. So I have to like take care of my skin. Even though I literally slept with makeup on. I had this for four years. Isn't that crazy? So I'm just gonna blend that into my skin. I wash my hands like 12 times a day, so don't tell me that it's disgusting. Cause it's not. I literally wash my hands like five million times a day. And I have this headband on because I did my edges and I just don't want to mess them up and I heard that if you put it in like a bandana for like a couple minutes then they will look really good and they look like they're like stayed on because sometimes they like flick up a little bit and it's not like attached to like your hair I mean like your head and stuff so I usually do my eyebrows first but I noticed that whenever I set my face my eyebrows tend to look like gray and like white so I do my eyebrows after I'm done with my foundation like um after um like be no no before i put on powder so i'm going to do my eyes actually first i like doing my eyes like i'm not doing anything to my eyes probably just like a contour color and then like a shimmer and i wanted to do something very special like in my inner corner my lipstick color is going to be different so so obviously i'm going to set my concealer with where is she uh kat von d locket concealer in the shade light 16 or I, for I forgot to answer the questions. Okay. It's like I'm doing a makeup tutorial, but like, it's the same thing. I use the same thing all the time, so. First question, people, or whatever. Franny is so pretty. I cannot, like, she is queen. Okay, what sport you play? Um, I don't play any sports. At the moment, I used to play cheerleading. Well, at first, I used to play soccer, and that was like a one year thing i w i don't think i really liked it i was like six yeah i used to play soccer not anymore and i played i did not play but i did cheerleading for about eight years eight yeah i cheered seven years on um, a cheer team i don't want to name because i don't know if like that's bad to say the name but yeah i did cheer for seven years for the city cheer team if anyone knows me, they know what I cheered for. Um, yeah, for seven years. And for school, middle school cheer, I cheered for one year, but it was the same time I cheered for that city team. And I cheered one year for high school. So basically it's eight years straight. So that's that was crazy. But obstacles hit me. Um, I already told you guys I had um, surgery. You guys saw that story time. That was part of the reason I quit before that. And I actually was coaching for the city cheer team, so. Yeah, and then I also cheer for my school because you need to cheer for the my, like my school you need to cheer for if you want to like coach a cheer team. I'm setting my eyelids with this brush. Oh my God, there's like water everywhere. Yeah, I always do that. Oh, the water stinks, Jesus Christ. And at one point I really wanted to do uh, swimming. I still want to do swimming because my mom had bought me things. Like she bought me like an expensive bathing suit and expensive glasses and the thing, like the head cap thing. 
she got me those three things and it was expensive and goggles and I still didn't swim. I think next year I'm gonna swim, but I like, I'm, I'm afraid because I have anxiety and my breath control is not great. So, so I think next year I might swim, but I guess that's answer, that answers your question. Not much people answered my question or even said anything in the, my Instagram story, which is rude because I might block you and then you're gonna be like, wait, no, why'd you block me? Because you literally are inactive, so. Like if you're inactive and you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, like I'm removing. No, I'm just kidding. Some people say that the um, airspun translucent powder gives you flashback, but I really don't see any flashback. Like I feel like it's good to set your eyes with because it's it's really good for setting. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the next question. I guess. Do you make your bed before you leave? Um. Honestly, no. <laughs> I don't make my bed. Well, sometimes when I do, like, if it's a good day and, like, I'm not annoyed at everyone, yeah, I make my bed. Just sometimes, it's not, like, the first thing I do in the morning, you feel me? I don't know. So, making my bed is, like, really annoying sometimes, and, yeah, sometimes it's really not a move. But if, if like, I have OCD and I'm, like, in the mood to, like, clean, like, everything, I would make my bed. I don't see a point in making your bed, honestly. Like, it, it, it that, that, that's me. I don't see a point in making your bed because no one's gonna if no one's gonna come to your house no one's gonna go in your room why why make your bed like it's not that it's not that deep and my mom is always like the president's gonna come over I'm like no he isn't he doesn't like Hispanics he's white I was gonna say that I don't even know where my Tommy Hilfiger uh, sandals are like I lost them so long ago I have no clue where they are I don't even want to like use like a big what is it a big color like a wow color you know even though i did oh also i was about to say that my sister and my dad are in new york so they left me i can't believe they left like it, it's so crazy like I, w I wish i went to new york like i think it would be so fun I have something that I want to do in New York in a couple of years, maybe after I graduate, the year after that, or maybe right when I graduate, I wanted to go to New York. I, ju I just wanted to do something up there when I graduate. My family in New York, they don't come to see us. No tea, I mean actually all tea, they don't ever come to see us. So we are usually the ones to go. And Aladdin comes out in three weeks, I'm very excited, it comes out. May 24th. I'm so I'm so excited. It comes out on my cousin's birthday and I'm pretty sure we're gonna watch it. She was the one who said that we are gonna go watch it together. So I'm excited. All I wanted to do in the crease, I didn't want anything like too like excessive. I think I'm oh crap, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm putting like a darker color and like the outer thing. Oh, should I talk about my scandal on Twitter? I don't know. If you guys watched my Snapchat stories, you guys might know already what happened but if you guys know who Carly Steele is she blocked me on Twitter because of a joke that I made I said I said LMAO I'm crying um why does she have your post notifications on she had her ex-boyfriend's notifications on and I tagged him and then I just thought it was funny because she posted it in a YouTube video and literally his notification showed up and he tweeted something and her the notification was on and I was like oh that's so weird like nobody does that and then she was like she commented and she said why is that funny no he he liked the tweet first and she was like why is that funny he was the love of my life I'm sorry you don't keep up with your exes I was like sis are you good like are you on crack or something are you jeweling around I was like what the hell? I was like, I literally love you. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, like, at all. I literally did not say anything rude. And people were like, oh, she's trying to act like the victim. I was like, I'm not white. Like, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're white. Like, I really don't act like the victim, vi victim ever. If you know who I am, I'm not a victim. Like, I literally am so blunt. I, was ju I just thought it was funny that she had her ex's notifications on. And that's... She thought that no one was gonna say anything about it. Like, sis, you should have like at least chopped that part off. Like, you're an idiot. But she blocked me on Twitter, 
and I was like, okay, sis, I went on her YouTube channel, on both of her channels, I disliked almost all her videos. Actually, I disliked all her videos on her vlog channel, unsubscribed, uh, blocked her literally on Instagram and Twitter, blocked her on Snapchat. I was like, this, okay, I literally, I, I don't, I don't like her anymore. And if you guys like Carly Steele, please don't. She doesn't like her fans. She doesn't support. She doesn't like her supporters. I supported her, and I. If you look at back at my tweets, uh, Carissa M Perez, M, Carissa M Perez. And if you look back to my tweets, you know that I literally would always tweet her like, Queen, I love you. Like, oh my God, your body is like perfect. Like, you're so pretty. I was so nice to her. Like I was a supporter and then she blocked a supporter. So if you think that she likes her supporters, she doesn't. No sis, she freaking doesn't. Honestly, people were saying that I was being rude about it. And I was like, I said, I'm crying. Why does she have your post notifications on? That's rude. Like you, mu you guys must be sniffing crack or something. Like y'all stupid. If you saw my Snapchat story, you guys must know. MS underscore K-A-R-I-S-S-A-A. -S -S Next question. First kiss. Um, I already said my first kiss. Uh, I already said that me and my friends were at the promenade and we kissed this guy. We all kissed this one guy. Yeah. This was a long time ago, so don't even say that. Yeah. I'm so not okay. Dang it, I really wanted this look to be different, not like... I really didn't want to put any color. By the way, if you hear some like mm, like sound, that's my dryer or washer. I don't I don't give a hell. It's one of those things. Sorry about that. Just like really loud. I think it'll stop and then it'll be like more awkward. Love that. I really wanted to do like a pink inner corner moment, but I don't know. I guess let's see how it looks. I did my nails and they literally are so horrible. Like they literally look terrible. Like look. Oh my god. So ugly. No, I clean my eyelashes and they look brand new. Like, like she looks new. I soaked them in water, and then took a cute, uh, Q-tip. Is that it? There was so much mascara. It was like black. It was just coming off, like black mascara coming off. And I was like, wow, I should have done this a long time ago. But this Marc Jacobs foundation. It's it's like a, it's in the shade 32 beige light. It's like a marvelous. It's like a mousse foundation. Looks like that. I'm, I'm just gonna take it with my finger because I'm disgusting. Mm. Mm. I haven't had foundation on in a long time, actually. And I'm just noticing. Oh, I feel like now I could take this off so you guys can see my edges. Ooh, look at her. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I had gray hairs for a second. I was like, oh no, sweetie. Did you guys see James Charles's, um, BB and T, what was it? BB Billboard Awards? <laughs> Billboard Awards. If you guys saw his Billboard Awards uh, outfit, it was funny. Where the hell is my. But this foundation is like. I haven't used foundation in so long. It's like freaking weird. I mean, I use. I use foundation that is like um, a BB cream. I have a foundation that that is like a BB cream and it's from uh, the dollar store and honestly it's not that bad oh my god this is not blending oh oh my god I have to rub it in no way it's like not blend this is like a disaster I think I need like a brush to do this it's like sad Marc Jacobs <laughs> Jesus Christ. And do you guys watch David Dobrik? I love David Dobrik and he will always be my favorite YouTuber. Actually, no, Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo is my favorite. Like, I've been watching her since, like, oh my god. Long time. Really, really long time. And now she's having, like, a, a reality show. Like, I am shook. I am so shook. Like, how far she's gone? Like it's literally so sickening. Is this is that word sickening? I don't know why this just reminded me of like um, Laura Lee's apology video because that was funny. That was that was really funny. If you guys even like know who Laura Lee is, 
It's like freaking hilarious, her apology video. She was like crying the whole time and someone was in her house. It's like, wow, sis, like you could have done better. You could have acted better. First of all, this was the hardest blending I've ever done in my entire life. And that foundation isn't even like bad. Maybe I'm just gonna use this because this blends like really fast, okay. And this beauty blender is literally gigantic, so. Wow, this was like smarter. <laughs> If you guys saw Hannah's um, video with Jake Paul, I was shook. I literally was shook. I did not even like realize how their personalities match like so well, literally so well. And then he says something about like sociopaths in his video, and I was like, no, it was in her video. And I was, I was like, bro, what? It was funny. And also put it, you have to put foundation on your ears because you don't want your ears to look way, way different from the rest of your face. Also on your neck. You cannot forget about your neck. Oh my God, it literally sounded like I had an accent. Was that just me or what? Don't forget about your neck or I will get your neck. <laughs> I'm trying to find things to like talk about, but my friend is going to prom and um, I'm doing her makeup. Isn't that lit? I'm doing her makeup, which is so cool. Um, I can't wait because I was like, okay, I will do your makeup for free. I just want you to uh, give me three people who would want me to do their makeup and pay me. <laughs> Basically, that's what I said and Because obviously I'm not gonna like I, I want clients like that's what I want to do. I want to do makeup and Yeah, she's like, okay, how much and I was like Ten dollars Just ten dollars will be great Because that's not too expensive. That's not too cheap. Well, actually is a little cheap but it's good because I'm a teenager and if I need to make a little money, I do makeup because I think I'm very good at it. People say I'm very good at it and I'm like, hell, let's make money from that. Also, I've been thinking about getting a James Charles palette, but I think it's sold out. I'm not sure. Someone let me know. I really want it. And it kind of pisses me off that... I didn't get it for Christmas. Not that I'm not grateful for what I got. I just, that was the only thing that I actually wanted for Christmas and a new phone, which I got and I'm very grateful. But yeah, I just wish I could have gotten James Charles palette. Oh, look at the highlight, you see it? By the way, I'm doing natural lighting with my, my little ring lighter that broke recently. It didn't break, but it broke like, um, to clip it on my phone so uh, so now i'm gonna do my concealer and i'm gonna be taking the bye bye under eye so had another scandal on snapchat if you guys uh add me on snapchat it was actually of my sister it was uh someone scammed my sister she shouldn't have trusted the guy but people like ask about the cash app thing and give you money like okay so let's say my sister gives he, she gave twenty dollars to this dude, and he was supposed to give her two hundred thirty. And I was like, mm, I don't know, sis. And he kept pressuring me to do it, like harassing me, literally. And I was like, no, it's okay. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, no, it's fine. Like, and he's like, oh, you don't need your credit card information. I'm like, I don't. It's fine. Like, it's literally okay. Like, I just opened up a bank account. I am not going to give you my card number. He's like, you think I'm gonna scam you? I was like, yeah, actually, I'm not gonna give anyone my card number. My sister did though, and he took her 20 bucks, did not text her again, and then blocked her. And my sister had to call the bank, tell them that, that it was an accident, and she got her money back, thankfully. But he still has her money, she just had to get money from the bank, which is, which sucks. Um, I wasn't mad at her when she told me, I was just mad at the kid, and you know what's funny? I exposed him on my Snapchat, if you guys saw my Snapchat. I'm not exposing him on here, but it was, it was really funny. And people were like, damn, you exposed him. I was like, yeah, because he's a scammer. And everyone who follows him on Instagram should know that he's a scammer and he scammed my sister. I don't feel bad at all that I exposed him. Um, so now I'm going to 
set my under eyes. I've recently been like debating if I should do um, like bright, bright under eyes. And I was like, you know what? Let me do it. Hell, I'm gonna do it. So bright under eyes, here I go. This is the Airspun Translucent Powder. Just gonna let it sit. And I'm also gonna set my chin because my chin gets oily. Also my forehead. My smile lines too, because my smile lines do get crazy. Now this is the time I'm gonna do my brows. I use the Anastasia that I always use. Brush tart brush, I use this side right here. I do have to like sometimes squeeze it so it's like really thin. It's like really hard if you just use it like this. It's like makes your eyeballs be really uncomfortable. And I also use this e.l.f. You guys already know, because I dye my hair darker. It's literally darker, dark. So I mix them, I mean, because this one's a little bit more creamy and it won't make my eyebrows feel uncomfortable. Obviously, I use a concealer brush. Take some of this leftover foundation. Um, I'm gonna do the other eye off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the other brow off camera, and I'll be right back. It's literally so quiet in here like that. The dryer shut off or like the washer and it was like so quiet. It's like it's like quiet and it hurts my ears. I don't know. So I got this right here. Like a little bunny chocolate bunny thingy. And it's milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is my favorite. So I'm gonna try a piece. Mmm. Milk chocolate is my favorite chocolate. It's dark. It's dark outside now. I'm gonna wipe this powder off now. I feel like it needs to get set again, yeah. You guys, did you see the... Did y'all see the Lion King trailer? Because I'm shook and it comes out right after my birthday. And I'm so freaking excited. I'm going to be 18, but like... I'm going to be 18 in like two months. But I am like so excited. You don't even understand. I'm just so excited. It's crazy, but... I guess now I'm gonna pop the inner corner on. Um, I really wanted to use this. I haven't used this in so long. I don't even like use this, it's wet and wild. The shades aren't really that good, but I wanted to pop this color, this pink right in the inner corner because I wanted to see how it looks. I wanted to just have like that Kylie moment, like that weird, like cute, but trendy, like inner corner, you know, that pink highlight that she did one time. I feel like it doesn't look good on camera, but trust me, like it looks really cool on here. It's not that bad. I feel like if you're far away, if I feel like I put on lashes and sh stuff, it won't look that bad, honestly. It's cute. It's subtle. You know, it's a subtle flex. Now, set my entire face with this Fit Me Loose Powder. Guys, don't own this. You have to. Also, set your ears too, because if you itch your ear, the powder's gonna come off, and that's not a look. And if you don't set it, you're gonna have creases on your neck because my sister literally has creases. Well, one time she had creases like a couple days ago at school and I was like, oh my God, she has like creases on her neck because she doesn't set it, you know? Shade and light palette, you guys are red tea. No, it's broken. <sighs> Tap this and like get the mirror. I'm gonna take this shade. 
contour shade. You guys already know I beat this thing up. I'm gonna tap into it like this. Just like right here, because it's gonna make your jaw look like snatched. Do you see that right there? So it's gonna make it look a little bit snatched. I'm going to take this brush right here take these two shades this one is like the actually highlighting like banana one but they, they're kind of like the same color so i'm mixing these and just making it highlight right here Chin. Not my, mouth. my nose area and my forehead oh i have a little pimple here and i'm gonna make it look like a mole i kind of look like an old lady now i don't know what i'm saying I'm gonna put on blush now, blush and highlighter. Both of them broke actually, so I can't really show you, but it's Milani blush that I always use. I forgot to put bronzer on, who am I? So yeah, I'm contouring my nose. Um, I wanted to use this lipstick right here. Oh my god, I forgot to put bronzer on. Who am I? I why am I? Why do I keep forgetting? It's just, like, where is my bronzer? Okay, it's right here. Taking this middle shade, it's like a bronzer. I'm gonna dip in some of this because I don't know. I feel like it's not my color, but we're just gonna do it. I think someone said I just look 12 years old in my video. <laughs> I'm almost 18. Do not call me 12. <laughs> it's like I feel like. People don't want me to succeed, but I'm trying to succeed and you're not, so. I'm gonna put on highlighter. Highlighter. What if my mom comes home and she tells me that I can't go to this um, party? Like, uh, I'm gonna be like, what am I supposed to do with this full face of makeup on? You know what, one of my cousins, he was, he came from California. He came um, here, like Florida. And he lives in California and he was on my live and he was like, have you ever had in and out And I was like, I have never been to the West Coast ever. Like, no, I have never had in and out I have never been to the West Coast ever and I really want to go to California like so badly. And yeah, I'm gonna put my eyelashes on and I'll be right back. So I have my lashes on and I'm going to um, put this lipstick on now. I think it would look cool with the look because it's different, you know? I'm so scared. Okay, let's go. I don't know about this. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. Um, I think I'm gonna put like something lighter just to make it look like less intense, you know? I'm gonna put some of this color on. It's like a brown. I'm just gonna put that in the middle. So that doesn't look too bad now. I forgot to set my face. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put in like a um a septum little piercing. I don't have my septum done, but I have like a little ring to it. And I, oh my butt it hurts. My tailbone has been acting up since like a long time, but I'm gonna put that ring in and I'm gonna set my face and I'll be right back to show you like the septum, okay? By the way, this is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I really want the matte one because I like matte, so. After I don't move any of my face, um, because setting spray is like really when it sets into your fine lines, and I don't like to move my forehead. So I looked really goth when it was like in the septum, and oh my god, this is tickling me. But 
um i don't look goth here that much <laughs> this is the final look guys i promise i don't look this white let's see if i turn my ring liner off Okay, I just look more white. So I don't really look this white. Please know that. Um, oh my god, what is that? That has to be gray hair. Okay. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Get ready with me. I already said that, but subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to see more videos like Get Ready was Get, get Ready with me, uh, make sure you comment and comment also comment a song that you want me to put at the end of my video. I will put it if you request a song. And yeah, turn on the post notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. If you want to know when I don't post on YouTube, you can follow my Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Follow my social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, and you add me on Snapchat. It'll be linked down below. All you guys need to do is go. All you guys need to do is go to the link and follow, add, subscribe. I'm just kidding, you're subscribing right now. Hope I really hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys on what is it gonna be Friday or Monday? I don't know. One of those days. Peace out. Uh,